For the past five months, we've been bombarded with the idea that AI will replace jobs of many people. Translators, programmers, and even artists are worrying about their jobs. So will English teachers also lose their jobs? Will our students change the way they learn English? Will the teachers be able to detect whether the assignment is done by AI? All these questions appear more meaningful and relevant, actually, to China especially, considering we have approximately one-fourth of China's total population learning English, and at least one million English teachers at all levels. Being a curious researcher, I decided to ask AI about this question first. So, in two seconds, it started to answer my question. Actually, it generated a 200-word essay. If you read it, actually I did read it carefully, and it's pretty reasonable. So if this were an AI world, we can safely say, case closed and we're done. But wait a minute, as a human being who has spent most of his life teaching and learning English through all possible means, I have a bone to pick with AI. So I would like to try to answer these questions in a way that AI will find it difficult to do. My personal story. Apparently, AI doesn't have a personal story. Back to the year 1997, when I was working at a software startup as a project manager, our team was supposed to develop a multimedia English coaching application. The biggest challenge I was facing, how our users can learn English through a PC. PC at that time, a high-tech word. So we did a market survey, and we found out that a whooping 80% of the respondents said they want to improve their spoken English with a PC. Then how can a computer understand a person saying we need a technology, a technology that can help computers to understand human speech and assess the user's oral English skills. We purchased speech recognition technology, SR in short, and integrated that technology in the product. We named it Speak English As You Wish. It turned out to be a bestseller in 1998 nationwide. However, there's a serious drawback. SR technology at that time is barely usable. One user complained to us that he followed the dialogue and recorded his voice carefully and achieved a 60. One day, he haphazardly coughed several times and achieved a 90. Today, ISR is already a mature technology. We are very familiar with voice-to-text function in WeChat and voice command in Badu map for navigation. As our technology has become the first impression of AI to the young generation. According to my survey, over a thousand Chinese students, ranging from high school students to doctoral students. The top two options, ISAR and IR, took several decades to be ranked over there. But the third one, ChatGPT, make its name over there in just five months. Then we want to explore what this ChatGPT can do for us. For technical fans, ChatGPT is closely related with all these fabulous technical terms, such as large language model, NLP, ISR, IR. So all these technical terms seems something that my fellow English teacher would not understand. A technology is only valuable when it can help us solve problems. So what do English teachers expect from AI? According to my survey, we hope AI can function as a speaking partner, a pronunciation coach, vocabulary generator, multilingual translator, writing assistant, and a creative writer. Now, let's look at this video. Hello. Yes, I'm here. How can I assist you today? 
Do you act as my speaking partner? Of course. I'm here to help you practice your speaking skills. What would you like to talk about? Can you help me to improve my pronunciation? Yes, certainly. Pronunciation is an important aspect of language learning, and there are many strategies that can help you improve it. One strategy is to listen carefully to native speakers and imitate the way they pronounce words and phrases. You see, this will be very helpful for those who want to improve their spoken English and are unable or reluctant to seek for teacher's help. However, we believe there's much room for improvement. Currently, AI can only identify which words we pronounce incorrectly. But we hope in the future, AI can generate more specific recommendations like how we should move our tan and jaw. But that will require variable devices. And I believe that such equipment and this combination will be coming up very soon. Now, AI as a vocabulary generator, I bet you will love this. For any given material, like article, you copy-paste, and then you ask AI to generate a glossary. In seconds, you will have it. And on top of that, you can actually, without any input, and ask AI to generate a vocabulary list in any chosen area, like the top 100 IT-related words, 1,000 financial words, and even for some specific purposes, like generate a vocabulary list uh, for traveling to New Zealand. You see, will this give you some new inspirations? And now AI as multilingual translator, that we know that GPT can do very well job in translations. So here today, I want to try something different. So I would like to contribute my poem, actually a love poem to my wife, as you can read. But don't laugh. <laughs> um, I know I'm quite amateur, but the point is, this poem is never recorded anywhere. So let's see the translation result. If you may want to read it, and you'll find the rhyming words like crown, brown, found, ground. Brilliant, right? So <coughs> for French version and Spanish version, it will be just one button away. Now, the most powerful and controversial part, AI as a writing assistant and a creative writer. I mean, this combination can enable our students to generate quality written works in seconds. And this will pose a big challenge to English teachers. You see, according to my survey, like 15% of the students would like to hire AI in doing their homework. And they are more familiar with AI tools than teachers are. So will English teachers be able to detect whether an essay is written by AI? I have set up an experiment. Let's look at this. We selected a writing task from CET4, and we chose three students' essays and generated one essay with ChatGPT. Then we asked our surveyed teachers to choose the one and only one AI-generated essay out of the four. So here are the result. The correct answer is D, and only 16 teachers out of 103 got this right. 43 teachers tried and gave up. So it will be very hard if the teachers receive no training, if we don't have any detection tool, right? And above that, we'll try to make this experiment more realistic by this time asking our teacher to choose as many possible AI-generated essays as possible. You see, here we have given four articles over here, three were done by AI. And then here is the result. The accuracy rate dropped to 5%. And I anticipate by the end of this semester, many English teachers 
will be facing with such challenges. So it is a problem, isn't it? So how to combat with student cheating with AI? I surveyed 103 college teachers, and they ranked technical tools, ethical education, improving the teacher's ability for detection as the top three solutions. And fortunately, uh, early in January, Stanford University has already started to use anti-AI tools, such as uh, Detect GPT. Our team tested the app. It worked very well with old experiments. And similar applications are being developed rapidly, home and broad. Even the developer of ChatGPT, OpenAI, announced that they will be developing a watermark technology to do anti-AI cheating. For future respect, I would say, I believe, number one, that with the breakthroughs in IT-related technologies, AI will definitely become a better tool for people who are doing self-learning it will become an excellent private English coach than ever if used properly. Number two, I believe the AI will become outstanding assistant to English teachers, benefiting their teaching, testing, and publishing careers. However, teachers should be trained with how to use these AI tools intelligently and to be trained with how to use detection tools as well. And in a year or two, I expect that to incorporate AI in our teaching will not be fashionable, but necessary. Number three, the biggest threat related with student cheating with AI will be well contained with the development of AI detection tools, if not entirely eliminated. The last but not the least is your attitude. In a world full of changes, can we maintain the attitude to be open to challenges, be brave enough to embrace technological advancements, and above all, strive to be a positive person on this fast developing planet? Thank you.